Being an Uber Eats driver, there's one thing more important than anything else in the world. It's more important than your wedding day, more precious than holding your firstborn child, more crucial to survival than actually getting sauce when you order McNuggets, like the time three weeks ago when they forgot and I didn't realize until I got home, bro, and it was just like a super negative experience. This sucks more than anything that I've ever sucked before. Quests. They make or break the earnings of a shift. Some say it makes or breaks the driver, but this week, they were gone. How will I do this without quests? Bro. So I had to ask myself the question, can I still make money without quests? So I am heading out there fully aware that the cards are stacked against me. Even though Rome wasn't built in a day, they were still laying bricks every hour. So I know there's gonna be good days, there's gonna be bad days. Today, I hope it's not terrible, but I just know it's not gonna be the highest performing day I've had. But the small days all add up across the year, so you need to take them when you can. So mindset, positive, it all adds up. Let's go. So I got my first order through, $10.84 going 9.9 .9 kilometers, so just over a dollar per kilometer, as I took that one, but then they got cheeky and tried to add in an extra add to route order for less than a dollar per kilometer, so I knocked that one back. Immediately afterwards, they tried to give me another one, even though this was $2 per kilometer, for only $3, and I know the area on the map is all high rise buildings, I'm not delivering through units and apartments for only $3. That easily has the potential to blow out to a 10 minute delivery, even though it's a small amount of kilometers, let alone the risk for wait time at the cafe. Hey, I'm doing great, thanks. Just got a uh, Uber Eats pickup for Brian H. Brian's, yep. Yeah. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you. You too. Got a grocery delivery, $7.38, going 5.8 kilometers, and then 9.05 from Mickey D's. It was really good weather, I was just vibing in my car, nothing could bring me down. I'm getting generic messages coming through from the Uber app, where it's like, hey, you could be making $28 per hour right now. And in my head, my run costs are about $7 to $8 per hour. So it's like, hey, you could be earning below minimum wage and running your car to the ground. How does that make you feel? You want to drive? You want to drive now? Come on, buddy, you know you want to do it. No f***ing way. Whoa, traffic jam. Speed breaker. Dude, I'm literally out here, man. I am not averaging $28 even. This is rubbish, absolutely rubbish. But we will take what we get because we are testing this to see if it is worth driving with no quest. And I know it's, I know it's not. My rule of thumb's always been, if Uber Eats doesn't have quests, I don't drive for them, I go and drive for DoorDash. Why? Because DoorDash pays better in my area than Uber Eats without quest. It's just the way it's always been. I had a solid run of Coffee Club orders. $13.92 for one pickup, $8.68 for another pickup, and then finally, I got my last one through at $8.42 as a stacked to the previous one. These were a good recovery because I just took a McDonald's order that was less than $1 per kilometer. Hey, I've got an Uber Eats pickup. Am I right to take that one off? Or? Sure, check that one. Yeah, perfect. Sure we can get the drink. Uh, thick shakes as well, I think, on that one. Yeah, chocolate thick shake. You got a chocolate thick shake there for me? Thank you. Perfect. You need the carry tray? Uh, no, it should be, should be good on that one. I'll just get this one in the bag and then, yeah. Yeah, all good, mate. Orders were coming through consistently. We were on fire. Hey, buddy. I love seeing dogs, man. How cool are dogs? Seeing dogs always makes me so happy. I love seeing dogs. Another McDonald's order, $10.40 for just over eight kilometers. What I will give across to Uber Eats' algorithm, though, is its driver prediction arrival time modeling is pretty good. I rarely have wait times. So I show up to the restaurant, I go in, I, I barely have any wait. It's either ready to go or they're packing it up at the time. So. I really like that because I'm not standing around waiting unpaid. And it was just consistent orders, pick up from Pizza Hut, then a pick up from Subway, and then finally a pick up from a local cafe to finish up the run. And I'm gonna call it there. So it's 12.30, I've been driving for four and a half hours right now, over $118.90 which works out to $26.42 per hour. The reason why I'm stopping mid-lunch is today was only planned to just do a half day. So four and a half hours, that's plenty of time. And the Uber Eats driver's coming on in 
and launch in my zone. Uh, the ones who do have quests, I want to give them like a fighting chance to hit their quests so they can actually earn some good money uh, as opposed to me just earning peanuts. Uh, I'll, I'll leave the orders to, to the drivers of quests. There you go, Chris being a good guy in the area, giving you guys a, a shot. All my ones that I would have taken, you can just have them today. So the money's a little bit low. I'm just going to have to invest it. I'm going to have to throw it into the market and let it sit there for, you know, two, three years so I can actually get some proper value and proper meaning to it. Speaking of investing, now a moment for the sponsor of today's video, Webull. Webull is an online trading platform which now has over 35 million global users. It's going to give you 12 free shares for signing up, value between $120 and $1,200 USD. I think the app is easy to navigate with great graphs and data points, but do your own due diligence to find what suits your needs. If you're not investing right now, why not? That offer is giving you just start your own investment account. What what more can I do for you guys? But overall, it wasn't horrible. It was a bit of a grind there. It, it's hard to reset your expectations, especially when I'm so used to doing these $40 plus hours uh, with the quest, like to really jack it up and push it up high. When they're taken away and you know what it could be with the quest, that's kind of a morale hit. So I had to really focus down, keeping my mindset locked on and being like, cool, let's take them through. Let's still be smart about the orders. We got a lot of really trashy orders there where it's like, no, no way in hell would I take that. I hope I get a quest back, but you know, if I don't, then I just need to adjust to the new climate, adjust to the way things are right now. I, I can't just sit around banging on about, oh, I used to be better back in the good old days. That was yesterday, that was the past. We need to focus on now, the future, and moving forwards. So if this is the way it's gonna be, I'm going to learn to adapt to this. It's not going to be easy all the time. It's not going to be just win, 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 win. There's gonna be a couple of losses and speed bumps along the journey. So it's how you adapt how you focus your mentality, your mindset on that kind of stuff. That's what's gonna determine if you succeed. And I refuse to fail. But guys, that's all for today. I thought I'd just run through that test. Uh, Uber Eats with no quest. Is it profitable? What's it gonna look like for me in my area? And there's the results, guys. Until next time though, make sure you stay safe, keep grinding, keep hustling, keep positive, keep earning some goddamn money, deeds and doodads, and peace out.